It's the Baltimore Orioles and the Chicago White Sox in game one of a four-game weekend series. And Johnny Cueto goes to the mound looking for the same type of outing he had against the Astros. A little hesitation from Johnny, and he sends Mancini back to the dugout. Two down. Second base, Josh Harrison. Nice block. Yeah, Dean Kramer. Uh, again, really pitching well. And again, only his four star. Line to left past Mateo. That's cracked on the ground back to Kramer. Couple of singles, no big deal. A scoreless first for Dean. Swing and a miss, strike three. Change up for Johnny Cueto. Swing and a miss, tailing fastball. Johnny Cueto gets by Nevin's walk and strikes out Mateo. 2 2. Wave and a miss. The changeup's been sterling tonight. Well, it's a pretty good pitch. 1 1. Mullen swings, ground ball just past the glove of Josh Harrison into center field. Cedric with a single. Line to left. A.J. Pollock's not going to get to it, and it gets by him to the wall. Mullins to third. He runs through it. Throw from Tim to the plate is there. What a relay, and Sebi laid it down on him. Now, it could very well be that the hand was in. We'll have to wait and see. But the execution on this relay is very good. Well, that's very close. After review, the call on the field stands. The runner is out. Off call stands. Out. Johnny's ready. Mancini at second. Second base. It's Harrison. And that is it. He faces Tim Anderson. Tim, right field. Base hit. You can play it on loop. Now there's a surprise. It's a fastball here. Sends it into center for Cedric. And a nice pitch. Got it in on his fist. Still a very small lead for Tim Anderson. And Pollock sends one to center field with some distance, with some pace. Mullins <laughs> will make the play, though, right in front of the padding. Strike to ball. He's done that a couple of times. And he'll do it again to get Abreu swinging. Three straight cutters and three straight swinging strikes for Dean. Ryan Mountcastle, the 25 year old. This ball's drilled by Mountcastle. Deep right center field, and Garcia was drawn way in. Ryan to second. That ball's still in play. Garcia dropped it off the carom. He's going to go for third. A double and a triple for Mountcastle, and we're on cycle watch on Thursday night. Well, I, that's going to be a double and an error, unfortunately. So. So just a double double day for Ryan Ho hum. So Adley Rutschman has an appetizer on the table here with a runner at third and one out. And oh. Rutschman here powers one in the right field. A titanic blast up and over the bullpen. Adley Rutschman with his second major league home run. And boy, was it a major shot to get the Orioles on the board. Yeah, that's in the uh, no doubt about him classification. I mean, off the bat, it's just a matter of how far it's going to go. 107 off the bat, so that exit velocity and extra base hits that went up thanks to this swing. Well, we told you this Oriole team was much improved, and it certainly is that. Tim's back, Garcia's in, and Garcia makes a play. Gavin Sheets. Shoot two is ripped into the right field corner. That's a fair ball. Gavin makes the turn, a little stumble, but he'll get to second. No problem. White Sox, and again, it's only through four. They're 0 for 4 with runners in scoring position. Garcia trying to change that. And a line drive right field. He will change it. Here comes Sheets. Here's the throw from Hayes. <laughs> Rutschman's tag is there. He did it again. Don't run on Austin Hayes. Just well, don't do yeah, it. No, well, he, and everything kind of comes together. Strong throw because we know he can throw. It's balls hit hard. Johnny is in his sixth inning of work. That ball's drilled by Hayes. Deep right center field. A long run for Garcia, and that will bounce into the stands. Maybe a break given how shallow Garcia was. Hayes does not get a chance for another triple. He will take 
An automatic sixth inning double. Ethan Katz out to talk with Johnny Cueto. And that ball line left center field. There's a base hit. Hayes had to hold up. He'll get a stop sign at third. It is a three for three day for Ryan Mountcastle. And the Orioles put some major pressure on Cueto with Adley Rutschman coming up. And here comes Tony Larusa. That is going to be all for Cueto. Seven hits for Baltimore. One walk, seven strikeouts. And Reynaldo Lopez will have a situation. And he's going to face Adley Rutschman on 1 1 to Rutschman. A hard ground ball, a fair ball over the bag. And ticketed for the right field corner. It hits the sidewall. Hayes has scored, and Mountcastle has to hold at third. Rutschman is into second. It is a two extra base hit night. He's got all three of the Orioles RBIs and the number one pick from three years ago is making quite an impression in Chicago. One ball and two strikes. Called strike three. First time we've seen John Tom Payne with the overhand right. Left center field Garcia roams over and he makes the catch. One one. Abreu swings a drive out towards right center field Mullins and A's heading back Mullins right at the wall again and Cedric just breaking south side hearts tonight big second out for the O's that's a change he didn't want it he shook to the cutter and Jake powers it to right center field Hayes and Mullins and it's off the wall Jake Berger was on it. It's a two out double with two down here in the six for Berger. Kramer most unhappy with himself but he did a whale of a job and took it as far as he could take it. His career highs 99 pitches he was in that neighborhood. So he'll depart. And Felix Bautista who's been on a roll hasn't run a lot of run earn run his last 15 appearances. And he'll warm things up here in Chicago. And he will get him with that splitter. Right on cue and Zavala goes down swinging. 22 year old Sosa goes down he said he should be ready for the splitter and eventually he got it and it goes down chasing the splitter three strikeouts for Bautista all on that devastating split yes. will it be another splitter it will and it's drilled the left field Santander tracks it down right at the warning tracks edge. And the Orioles with a 3 0 lead, six outs to get in a well rested Dylan Tate to try and get three of them. And here to right field, long run Hayes toward the line. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness! He made an outstanding catch! Kicking up the chalk, sliding into foul territory. Austin Hayes has made one of his greatest plays yet. I can't say it any more than I said it tonight. It's great to have an outfield that can go get the ball. And that ball beat me. It's going to be very close to being fair or foul. Better angle here. That's going to be a fair ball. And that ball is drilled. Right center field. Mullins. He got another one. This is amazing. They are an absolute fortress. The Orioles outfield. Girls trying to add to this 3 0 lead. Mullins drills one through the right side. Here comes Nevin around third. Sheets loads up for a throw to the plate. He is safe. Got the left leg in there before the tag. And Cedric Mullins adds a ninth inning run. His second hit of the game makes it four zip. Two and two. He busted him on a high fastball. One, two. Line to left. This is fair. To the corner it goes. Sebi Zavala put it out of reach of any of these outfielders. It's a leadoff double in the ninth. The double in the second inning was almost identical to this one. He struck him out. Oh, two. Vaughn goes down swinging another slider. Another save for Lopez. Another shutout for the Orioles. And they snap the eight game losing streak to the White Sox with a 4 nothing victory in Chicago.